So on today's edition of Nintendo doing Nintendo things, we can officially confirm that Banjo and Kazooie will be the next game to launch on Nintendo 64 online service. And of course, up to this point in time, we've known it is the next game in the works, but we now have the date and we got to talk about it in today's video and also talk about whether or not we can expect this update to change anything else on the NSO service that needs fixing. What's up nation? If it's your first time on the channel, make sure you join some bro nation by subscribing below, hit the like button on this video if you enjoy it today, and make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news. Now this is actually a bonus news video today guys, because in true Nintendo fashion at 7 p.m. Central time, which is where I am, or that would be 5 p.m. Pacific time or 8 p.m. Eastern time, Nintendo of course decided to tweet out that Banjo and Kazooie will be launching on January 20th on the Nintendo Switch online service and they actually have a trailer to go along with it this time because if you guys remember or you've been around on the channel for a while you will know that I thought it was interesting that very shortly after Paper Mario was announced they decided to follow it up shortly after with the Banjo announcement with no hype trailer like we did see them do with the Paper Mario announcement. Now, all of this said, it's good news that's at least coming in the middle of January, I guess, but we are really talking still over a month apart, like more than one month. We even saying one month is not correct. It is actually like five to six weeks apart is when we are seeing these N64 games trickle out so far. And while Nintendo is not committing to any kind of consistent update schedule, that could change for either better or worse. And, you know, unfortunately, with how they've updated SNES and NES over time, it makes me think that it'll get worse. But I do hope that we see some kind of more frequent update schedule. But at the very least, we can expect Banjo to go live in just a couple days from the times of filming this video on January 20th. And I will be very curious to see how this game runs opposed to the others and whether or not Nintendo does any other under the hood fixes that we've been wanting to see them do this entire time to Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack, most notably fixing things like input delay in Ocarina of Time. Some people say it's not real. I'm here to tell you it is real. I notice it. It's definitely something that is there. It's not game breaking for everybody and certain players notice it less than others, but I definitely want to see that fixed. I also want to see things like the fog rendering added back in. As the technology is there to do that through emulation, Nintendo just needs to refine some things in the emulator itself to be able to render fog correctly, and they could definitely upgrade some of the textures like we've seen in the Water Temple go very viral because they are a clear downgrade from the original N64 version of that game. So there's definitely a laundry list of fixes. There's a lot of debate and talk online, of course, about what Nintendo is charging for this expansion pack service. I am still on the side of the fence that it is far too much for what they are asking. Yes, you can break down the $50 annual price point per month, and it's really like $4 and some change per month. That's not terrible, but whenever you look at what Nintendo is offering as a whole with their online service, it is very lackluster, in my opinion, in comparison to especially what the other competition is offering, such as PSN coming in at $60 annually and giving you three free PlayStation games every single month. You also have Xbox Live and Games with Gold, which you could argue the Games with Gold selection is not that impressive most of the time, but you're getting three free, somewhat recent releases on those systems as free additions every month. And you have things like party chat, voice chat. You have, you know, the ability to message friends and add them through usernames instead of friend codes. Like the bottom line is Nintendo's very behind the times when it comes to their online offering. I shouldn't have to, in the year of 2022, use a Nintendo app on my phone to actually try to talk to somebody through the system. Some people will say, well, it's because of children play on the system and things, but we have have parental controls for a reason. Nintendo could absolutely do some stuff to overhaul their online infrastructure and give us these very core basic expected features that I think most users are becoming accustomed to expecting in the years of 2022 and beyond. So regardless, we're getting this N64 game in just a couple days. I will definitely keep you guys posted on any changes that are made because normally a day or two after the update goes live, data miners will quickly hop on it and see if anything else has been changed inside 
inside of the NSO service file. So I will be keeping my eye on that. I'm definitely pumped at the end of the day that we are getting Banjo as part of the N64 collection because, of course, there was a lot of debate and speculation whether or not rare titles would make it over at all, as Microsoft technically owns that company now, and they definitely had the ability to say no if Nintendo did request any rare titles to come, and I'm still holding out hope that we will get the other rare titles, most notably for me, GoldenEye 64, which I definitely hope will come over at some point in time. We, of course, recently had it in the news with the game achievements being unlocked on the 360, or not the 360, rather, but the Xbox Rare developers actually having completed achievements that are linked to a new version of the GoldenEye game, suggesting that it is at least in the work for, works for Xbox. But if I'm a betting man, there's probably some type of deal between Nintendo and Xbox to bring it to both platforms because they are both right holders in that GoldenEye scenario. So I want to hear from you guys on if you will be checking out Banjo on the service. Maybe this is the game that you've been waiting for that you will actually pick up the expansion pack. And how do you feel about the current lack of clear release schedule on Nintendo Switch? Switch online and definitely share with me whether or not you feel like if you've spent $50 for the annual asking price like I have, if you feel like you're getting your money's worth right now, or if you feel like you got roped into a 12 month commitment with really not what you were expecting to see in terms of value overall as a service. So I do look forward to hearing from you guys on all things Banjo and Kazooie and this next title being added to the Nintendo Switch online. Also, again, this is the second bonus no news video for the day. So please make sure you go check out the other video where we discuss discuss the major acquisition that happened between Microsoft and Activision Blizzard and really what that probably means for the future of gaming subscription services as a whole and just my own personal opinions on how I think this will ultimately affect the Nintendo Switch. So I appreciate you guys checking out the videos. Definitely look from here. Look forward to hearing from you in the comments down below before you leave as I do look forward to getting a back and forth conversation started with you all around this topic. Thanks so much for watching the video today, everyone. I do truly appreciate you all sticking around until the end. I do at this point in the video want to invite you all one more time to join Summer Nation if you haven't done so already. Do so by subscribing below. Hit the like button on your way out if you enjoyed it today. And make sure you turn on your bell notification icon so you're kept up to date with all the newest gaming news. That's going to do it for me, guys. Hope you all have a great day. Summer Nation, out.